All right, so today we're gonna be checking out the trailer for the new Star Wars series coming to Disney Plus, The Acolyte. Some of you may not know this about me, but I am a huge Star Wars fan. Off camera, I have a giant display just like this one full of Star Wars figures. I actually pulled out two of them for today's video. Now, my experience with Star Wars is that when I was a kid, they started releasing the special editions of the original trilogy, and that's what made me initially fall in love with Star Wars. And then they came out with the prequels, and although they are flawed movies, they have a soft spot in my heart because I was a kid and I just enjoyed them for what they were. I have not really loved what Disney has done with Star Wars. I really did not enjoy the sequel trilogy. I haven't really enjoyed what they've done with a lot of the iconic characters in the TV series. The only thing that I truly enjoyed was the Mandalorian seasons one and two. I'm not going to be somebody that's going to just watch this and just bash it because I'm assuming that it's going to be bad because I haven't enjoyed a lot of the things Disney has done. No, I am a very hopeful Star Wars fan. I want to like what they do, quite honestly. I totally understand if some of you are jaded at this point and are just like are done with it i just don't think i will ever be that person but if i watch it and don't like it yeah i'll be very honest about what i think with that said without further ado let's check this out oh we got younglings don't tell anakin by the way i know nothing about this show i haven't looked anything up so i'm going into this completely blind so i just want to put that out there could deceive you i like that there's jedi though we must not trust them. Don't trust your eyes. Interesting. Tell me what comes into your mind. Light. Balance. I see fire. Uh oh. That can't be good. That's cool. Got some Kung Fu Jedi. Someone is killing Jedi. It doesn't make sense. What happened? I sensed the darkness. Who is that? That's cool. It's a lot of Jedi's. Oh my god. Well, that guy was not messing around. All right, so that was definitely a trailer that I probably would have benefited from knowing maybe the time period that this is taking place. I'm assuming this is not during current times. Let me look this up. All right, so that makes sense. This is set at the end of the High Republic before the events of the main Star Wars films. Could kind of get the gist of that watching the trailer, but I'm glad that I looked it up because I feel like that's kind of important information. It looks good. A lot of the trailers for Star Wars stuff looks great. I mean, I remember just being super excited for The Force Awakens when I saw that trailer. So the CGI definitely looks good. It's a grouping of Jedis. So that's kind of a story that we just haven't seen before. So I think they could do a lot of interesting things with that. That Sith seems extremely powerful because he could take out like a whole squad of them. So it definitely looks very interesting to me and I am going to tune in. I always tune into any Star Wars property, even the ones that disappoint me because I am a very hopeful Star Wars fan. I want something good. I'm always rooting for them to figure out how to get that magic back. And I do have faith that they can. And this is something that seems to be unburdened by having to be tied directly to the main story. So it's a great opportunity to have a fresh slate and to have the freedom to do things that really don't have any consequences to the mainline Star Wars, at least unless they decide to do something absolutely insane. I love anything with Jedis or bounty hunters. Those are like my favorite kinds of characters in Star Wars lore. And so long as they just make them really cool. I mean, I know that that sounds really stupid, but like, I just don't want to see any more characters that should be doing cool things, just kind of sitting back and being stoic until like the very last episode. And then you're just kind of like, yeah, but I wanted to see that throughout the whole series. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what you thought of this trailer. Are you going to be tuning into Star Wars the Acolyte. Leave a like if you found this video entertaining. Maybe consider subscribing if you enjoy the content on my channel. And as always, my name's Eric Rosas, and I hope you all have a fantastic day.